Hi there, in this episode I want to talk to you about the status of foreclosures and short sales in New Jersey uh, in 2019. All right, I'm going to talk about that right after this. Hi, my name is Paul Kim and uh, we help homeowners, agents and attorneys uh, with short sale, the process of the short sale as well as uh, we buy houses uh, in any condition. Uh, in this episode, I wanted to talk to you about um, where we stand in terms of uh, the level of foreclosures and uh, and the I guess the, um, the 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 number of people that are uh, in short sale or um, are looking to do short sales. And the reason I uh, I'm doing this video is because I got an email from one of my audience uh, or from particularly an investor that wanted to know uh, had some questions and I'm gonna uh, she's basically asking me uh, you know uh, is the short sale volume still robust uh, or you know is there still a lot of short sales or has it decreased and it has decreased a little bit but it's still at a level where uh, there is a lot of short sales in the market and there is will be continued to have short sale uh, meaning that homeowners that are underwater are needing to, needing to sell their house but the big the question for uh, really for me uh, just in the past I guess uh, six months to a year I had to transition because I was getting a lot of short sales with uh, people that waited till the last moment when they have a share of sale and so it really becomes difficult to do a short sale when there is a share of sale looming so because that puts a lot of pressure on the process and also at that point the lender is not um, you know the the person the the lender that is foreclosing on the property um, they basically are saying, hey, we're going to get the property uh, from the homeowner in a month or two. Uh, why do we need to do a short sale? And so if I have, I've had um, uh, banks uh, basically decline the short sale because uh, of that situation. And so uh, the most important factor for, from, you know, from my point of view, from an agent, if you're an agent or an investor, is you got to... You know you have to understand that um, the, the you know you're gonna get a lot of short sales with share of sale pending and it's a lot of work and so you got to filter it um, so that's where we stand with regard to short sale and the uh, and where we are with the foreclosure so as you may or may not know that New Jersey is uh, one of the top states that uh, has a number of foreclosures and so there will always be foreclosures. There will always be uh, people with financial situation that's going to stop paying the mortgage. Now the question becomes whether that property is underwater or not. Um, that's so, you know it's a 50-50 chance, but more a little bit higher percentage probably. Um, so the um, the other question that the uh, investor was asking was about the mortgage forgiveness uh, debt relief act of 2017 it wasn't extended now what ha what's what that means is that the person the homeowner that does the short sale will get taxed uh, will get a 1099 for that difference that uh, deficiency that is waived as a result of the short sale now is that going to uh, stop somebody the fact that 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 debt relief act uh, wasn't extended is that going to stop somebody from doing a short sale I don't think so because that person has to get rid of that property that homeowner has to get rid of that property whether or not this debt relief act is in effect or not if they don't do a short sale that property is going to get foreclosed on and they're going to get a 1099 anyway when the bank sells the property at a share of sale or thereafter when they get the property back and they sell the um, property uh, which most of the time sometimes they get it at a, they um, 
probably they sell it at a lower price than they would have done when the property uh, was I guess before the actual auction sale date so the homeowner has to get rid of this property and they are going to get a 1099 with or without uh, you know whether they do it during short sale or afterwards so to answer that question the fact that the mortgage relief uh, the, the mortgage uh, debt relief act of 2017 wasn't extended uh, is not relevant because uh, as I said that you know the, the, the homeowner is going to get a 1099 with or without so with that said I wanted to um, mention a uh, I'm doing a webinar on uh, giving a more detailed analysis of the uh, where we are where we stand with regards to the foreclosure and short sale uh, giving a little more de in in-depth uh, information on where we are and some more in-depth information with that said I wanted to um, let you know about a webinar that uh, I am putting together uh, to give you a more in-depth uh, statistics on foreclosure and short sale and this is something I do on an annual basis and you can find that link to that webinar below uh, if you catch this video after uh, I've done the webinar, I will put the link to get access to that um, that uh, information. Uh, I will put that link below, both of those links uh, below in this video. And um, I look forward to seeing you there. And I know there's a lot of agents that are uh, interested in the foreclosure and short sale um, uh, market. Uh, so I hope to provide some information, insightful information and useful information for you to grow, uh, to help, you know, grow your business, but at the same time, help the homeowners that are in these situations. All right. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.